Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle and today we are gonna go through my entire eyeshadow collection. Uh, the pre-made palettes and um, yeah, grab a drink because this is a long one. No joke. It's yeah, this one took forever to film. Uh, the first half of the video is pre-covid, the second half is post-covid, so yeah, it's been a two week long filming of this video. Uh, so I hope you enjoy, if you have any questions about my palettes then leave a comment down below and I will answer them. And yeah, that's it, I think. If you want to see this look, I will have a first impressions chit chat get ready with me video going up sometime. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But other than that, let's jump into this video. Okay, so here we are with my eyeshadow collection. We're starting off with pre-made palettes, as you can tell. And Glamide is first up. So, I have six palettes from Glamide. I have the Ice Cream Dream, the Michaela, and the Happy Hour collection. And as you probably can tell by the Michaela palette, mine looks a little bit different. Um... If you didn't see my Planet Palette intro, then go check that one out. And um, yeah, mine got all of the glitters all over the shadows, so I emptied it out for the glitters. So mine's just an empty background, which I'm okay with. I actually do prefer it. So yeah, let's go through all of the eyeshadows. First up, we have the Ice Cream Dream palette. This is super cute. This is one of my palette palettes for the year. And this is a awesome pastel rainbow palette with shimmers and mattes. And so far, I really do enjoy it. Then we have the Michaela palette. Again, this one is a... Yeah, as you can see, it's all over in the middle right there. Um, this one is again a rainbow palette, but more on the deeper side. So for me, these two go hand in hand. Um, both when it comes to the shimmers and mattes. So yeah, this one is also again my pan matte palette for the year. Then we have the wine palette, which is the purple one with the pop of uh, green. I'm sorry about the lighting, it doesn't do this justice, but I'm working with what I got. We have the Dirty Martini one, which is the green. Stunning green palette, absolutely love it. Chocolate Martini, this one surprised me a lot, because this is just a neutral one, but I love it. It's my favorite neutral palette, um, so yeah. Really, really stunning. And lastly, we have the Margarita palette that I still have to do a first impression of. But yeah, these are really pretty. Then we have all of my ABH palettes. I have five. And I love them all. But first up, we have the Nervina palette, the OG, and again, I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, I cannot help it at all. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, this one is a stunning palette. We have the Nervina, what are these called? Pro Pigment Palette Volume 4. Again, this one is really stunning, the neutral and light pink um, palette. I really want the volume 5 one as well. It's kind of similar, but with purples instead. 
we have the soft glam, the OG good, um, just a classic palette. I have three pans in here already uh, and quite good sized pans as well. Then we have the Amorisi palette. This one is a little bit longer. It has two more shades than the other, um, the three others. But again, really stunning. The only thing I don't like with this palette is the two pressed glitters. I'm not the biggest fan of these colors of pressed glitters, but I like the rest of the palette. And then lastly, we have the Riviera, which is the rainbow colorful palette. Okay, so here we are with my Beauty Bay collection. I have only four palettes, but these, or at least three of them, I haven't used the big Evolve palette yet when I'm filming this, but the three others have really gotten my mind on the Beauty Bay palettes, at least the one with 20 pants in them. Um, they are really good, actually. I really do love them so far. And first up, we have the Nikki Tutorials palette. As you can see, I have a pan in this one. I hope the lighting is better. I think it is. The only thing I don't like about this one is the way you open it. I kind of find it distracting. And yeah, it could have been just a normal flip or flip that way. So... That's the only thing I do not like about this palette. Then we have the Age of Opulence palette. This was the holiday collection palette this winter, and it's stunning. I just did a palette bingo with this one uh, earlier in the month, so go check that one out. I was pleasantly, blah, blah, pleasantly surprised by how it turned out even though I only got two mattes and three shimmers. So if you want to see how it ended up, then go check that video out. But yeah, these are stunning. Then we have the summer palette from them, the wilderness palette. This is so stinking good. Um, I love it, especially the two middle rows and this one and that blue shimmer. Um, they're stunning, I love them, and yeah, it's just beautiful. Absolutely love it. And then we, of course, have the big 42 color palette, Evolve palette from them. Uh, the This one is just neutrals with a pop of greenish, blue-ish, and a pop of red right there, and... I do feel like this one is kind of duochrome uh, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I have... Um, um, oh my god. I'm speaking Norwegian and English altogether right now. Um, I have only swatched some of these, but so far so good. And I do get the point of this palette, because it's a really good neutral palette for makeup artists for instance like you have every single nude shade right there so yeah i do like it is it necessary to have 42 colors in here no it's not but i don't mind so yeah that's my beauty bit collection okay so here we are with my urban decay palettes i have seven um, I have three of the Naked palettes, and then just some of the random ones. So first up we have the OG Naked palette. I have in total finished up two shadows in this palette. This shadow right here, Sidecar, is Depotted, so... Because it's my favorite. And then I do have Pan in Half Baked, which are my current favorite gold shadow. I've said it time and time again, I hate gold on myself. Not only makeup, but jewelry and everything. 
I'm more of a silver person, um, but this one is a good one for me. We have the Naked 3, which was my go-to when I was an intern. And I have finished up this shadow right here and hit pan in this one. I do have a dip going on in Nooner as well. Uh, but this palette needs to get some love this year. Because it's getting on the older side. Then we have the newest Naked palette and it's the Naked Cyber. I love this palette. I know many people don't love it, but for me this is the perfect, say if you do work as a teacher or in a office, but still want to play with fun shadows, then this is for you. Uh, you do need a good eyeshadow base or something like glitter glue or something like that to get them to really pop. But there's still subtle shifts in these. Um, I do have a small dip going on in not a bot, but yeah I do have a first impressions of this one and a swatch video I'm pretty sure so go check those out. I actually love this. It's really pretty and um, yeah I really do like it and that's my opinion. Then we're going really far back to the OG Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani collab. Um, I finished up some of these, as you can tell. I kind of want to remove the numbers and the X. The only one I haven't finished is the shade Blackout and Anaheim. Anaheim is currently in my bronzer, mixed in with that, but the rest I have finished up. And yeah, these are so stinking deep. It takes forever to hit pan in these, even for me. Uh, and they're so tightly packed, it's crazy. But yeah, I love this palette. And when I do finish this one, I will be keeping the packaging because I absolutely love it. And I'm a big Gwen Stefani fan. She's awesome. Then we have the good Born to Run palette. It's a favorite by many people. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Let's see. There we go. Uh, as you can see, I have Pan in Breakaway, Riff, and Wanderlust. I am almost done with Stranded. I have finished up Weekender. And I'm currently working on Big Sky and Hellride to finish up. So if I can finish up those three this year, I will have four eyeshadows out of this palette. And um, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this one and this one. I do prefer the shade Punk in the Gwen Stefani palette right there. And um, yeah, the shade Smog is also better in the original naked palette than in here in my opinion but I will still use it um, so yeah it's a really good travel palette and um, yeah I'm really happy I bought this it's a really good palette and the packaging is stunning so yeah Then we have, oh no, this is the newest palette, but that's the newest Naked pa palette. Um, this is the newest Urban Decay palette in my collection. It's the Stoned Vibes palette. This was half of. Uh, it was on 50% sale, so I picked it up and I have only swatched these. So I cannot say anything about these, but the main reason I bought this palette is because of the shimmers. So... Yeah, I cannot wait to play with these. I do have this palette in a project pan to use every single shadow once. So that will give me a good impression of this palette. And then lastly, we have this small Urban Decay on the Run Detour palette. Um, this one, I have used up this shadow right there. 
But this is a good like everyday neutral palette with a pop of blue and a clear top topper shade with a blue shift. So it's really stunning on top of like this dark one. And even on the detour shadow, it's so phenomenal. Um, but I haven't reached into this one in forever, so it should get some more love from me. But that's my Urban Decay collection. Okay, so here we are with my Huda Beauty and Pat McGrath collection. I have three Huda Beauty palettes, but I really want to buy the Rose Quartz palette. It's so freaking stunning. And um, I do want some Pat McGrath palettes as well, but I can't afford it at the moment, but later on, I guess. So, from Pat McGrath, we have the Mothership um, Rose Decadence palette. This is a six pan palette and it's stunning. I do have this shadow right here in a project pan. If I remember correctly, it's in my Beauty A to C. Um, but oh my god, this packaging is so stunning. The only thing I don't like is the flip on here. It's so tiny. Um, it's, yeah, it can break off at any moment. But other than that, this is stunning. Then we have my dirty, dirty quad. This is the Celestial Divinity Luxe Quad in Flare Fantasia, Flare Fantasia. Which one is it? Please. Is it Flare Fantasia or Flare Fantasia? I keep saying Flare Fantasia, but everybody else is saying Flare Fantasia. Um, but yeah, this is a stunning ooh, everyday quad. I do have this one right here in the Beauty A to C as well. Um, as you can tell, I have never hit pan on a Pat McGrath eyeshadow, so it will be interesting to see how many uses it will take me during 2022 to hit pan on these. Then we have the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. This is amazing. Uh, I have two pans in this one already, one in Utopia and one in Supermoon. I have put Cosmic and Vortex into the Beauty A to C. I don't think any else are rolled into that project, but because I have those two, I will definitely use some of the other shadows as well, and maybe hit pan in some of the other ones. But yeah, this is stunning. Then we have my Huda Beauty Nude Light Obsessions palette. I love this one. This is so good. Um, this is just for an everyday soft look, which I need every now and then. And as you can see, I do have one pen in this one, uh, so it's getting some use. And yeah, it does have a really good dip going on as well as the nice sized pen. Uh, but yeah, I hate that these don't have any shade names. Um, so yeah. I would love to get some more work on this one. And then lastly we have the Sand Haze Obsessions palette. Yes. And again I do have one pan in this one. And my favorite shade in this palette is this one right here because it's a dupe of the Cranberry shade from MAC which I finished up in 2021. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm, I do per really like these three mattes, but yeah, I don't know. It's not my favorite shades in this one, um, but I like it enough to keep it. Okay, so here we are with my Natasha Denona collection. I only have four palettes and, um... Yeah, let's go through them all. So first up, this is, these are the midi sized ones. This one is the 
normal bigger 15 pen palettes. I don't know. This one is a little bit bigger than the bronze and the glam one. Uh, but this is the Biba palette. I, as you can see, I'm missing one. But this one is in the Pandos eyeshadows. So it's in a magnetic palette. Uh, but this has a warm toned yellow row. You have your orange row. And then your more cool toned row. Which is awesome because you can mix blah, you can mix and match and have fun with your neutrals absolutely love this again it needs to get some more love then we have my favorite color story of them all uh, it just doesn't show because that one got so much love during 2021 uh, so yeah, I'm hoping to have some pans in this palette during 2022, uh, but this one is the Cool Toned Everyday Palette from Natasha Denona. It's so pretty, and I'm so sad I didn't get to use this more. Um, as I said, I was working on that one so much, and that was my Panet palette. Um, so yeah, 2022 is definitely this it's the year for this one. Then, if you don't know, I did the Do You Pen My Battleship with Laura, aka Don't Waste Your Makeup, over on Instagram. Go check her out. She's so funny. Oh, and a cat is outside, so I will be quick. Uh, but yeah, we did the Do You Pen My Battleship, and I hit 14 out of the 15 pans in here. Uh, she won because my last ship is over these pans. So yeah, I need to hit pan on the shade Ridge this year. Uh, I just need to because it would be awesome to actually have pan in all of these. But I'm taking a break. I will probably be putting that shade into a magnetic palette and just work on it every now and then. And lastly, we have my Panette palette for the year of 2021. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Zendo. And as you can tell, I have three pans. This is the fa my favorite transition shade ever. It's so stinking good. Um, this shimmer and this shimmer are amazing. Uh, and I'm sad I didn't hit hit a pan in all five but at the end I was working on the bronze palette so much that at least this one was so repetitive in that palette that well it's not the same shades but it's the same type of shades uh, so I just ended this pan that palette project in September but now I will get my cat in and um keep on filming. Okay, so Sushi is back inside. Um, so that's the cat. We have named her Sushi. Um, it was just the first name that popped into our heads and it has stuck. So I'm sorry if you can see a cat tail or see Sushi walk all over my palettes, but here we are with my Colourpop collection. I don't have too many Colourpop palettes. First off, I do live in Norway, so it's kind of expensive to get them shipped here. Um, and second of all, not all of them are interesting enough for me to purchase from the US. Um, so yeah, this is my small collection of Colourpop. And um, yeah, let's go through it all. This is the biggest one, it's the Fade Into Hue palette. This is the Rainbow palette. As you can tell, I do have two pens in this one. I have in Treasure and in Hot Copic. Uh, Treasure was in the Pandos eyeshadows and Hot Copic was in Throwback 30. And she wanna play with my hand. Uh, <laughs> you can't see, it, or maybe you can, but she's looking upwards and really 
just oh she's so cute um but i have put novu novu wow no mm, novu i don't know how to pronounce it into the beauty a to c i think and did i put in one more did i put in lovecraft maybe i don't remember no died up is it uh, those two I put into the Beauty A to C, so this palette will also get some more love, and hopefully by putting those two I will hit some more pans in this one as well. It's a really nice rainbow palette, but it's very monochromatic for each shade, so that's unfortunate. Then we have my... <laughs> she wanna play. I just wanna cuddle. Uh, give it to me straight palette. This is the one of the three palette palettes I have this year, but this one I want to finish up completely. Um, I have finished up Frank right here. Uh, I just couldn't find the small pan to fit in it. So I do have four, I have eight shades left to use up in this palette. Um, but I do have some good progress on TMI and on Candid. I do have Pan in Be Blunt and Forthright. So, yeah, I only need to hit Pan in these three and finish them up. So I'm hopeful I can do it because I've been trying to work this palette out of my collection for the past yeah, two years, actually. So, yeah, it's time. But this was my first color pop palette with this one and I love the color story of this so yeah and I'm sorry if you can hear my tummy speaking uh, this is the collab with Zoella it's the brunch date palette it's a really nice neutral with a pop of blue I have used up no I haven't used up anything yet have I? Did I use up this one? No, no, I mixed this one with one from the Give It To Miss Red palette. I think. I don't remember. I have mixed this one with something. I have mixed this shadow right here with the highlighter from this collection. And this shade right here is in a magnetic palette. But yeah, this whole palette by itself is in a project pan in the Throwback 30 to hit two pens so i need to get some work into this one and lastly we have my mint to be palette um and i have two pens in here i am close to hitting pen in this one and oh my god hi She loves to cuddle and to speak. She's always purring, no matter what. Um, but yeah, those two pants I hit because of Becca from Becca Hope. Um, hello. Uh, she wanna play. She's so cute. Uh, in the Fantasy Self Showdown palette. And yeah, I used each of them like nine times or so and hit pan. Our goals were to use them 10 times, but I rolled them out when I hit pan, but she also rolled this one in for me. So that's why I have a good dip in this one. <laughs> Hi, Sushi. Oh, she wanna play. She wants to play. She's actually a really shy cat. Uh, only me and my boyfriend can pick her up. Uh, my boyfriend's... My boyfriend's mom's husband... There we go. Um, he tried to lift Sushi up and she brought out her claws. So yeah, she's not a family cat for sure. And she's playing on top of my palettes. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, I do have this one in the Beauty A to C. So hopefully that will help me hit pan in more of these shades but I do really like this palette I have even figure out, figured out how to use this lightest one to give me the pigment 
on the eyes. But yeah, this is a really nice monochromatic palette. I really do like it. Okay, so here we are with my Kaleidos palette. Um, yeah, she won't go away. So we're just gonna keep going. So have fun with sushi in the background. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I only have three. I really want to buy some more of these Futurism palettes, like the Sashimi City palette. And there's one more I really want to buy, but I don't remember the name of it. But <laughs> but yeah. Um... First up, we have the collab with Angelica Nyquist. The Club Nebula palette. I do have one shade from this one or two in the Beauty A to C, and I do have one pan in Nova. So I need to work on this one some more. I absolutely love this green, it's so stunning. Really beautiful palette. Then we have the Escape Pod. This has my favorite packaging. Ever. I just love the color splash on it. This is what it looks inside. I do have at least one shadow from this one or two into the Beauty A to C, so you will be seeing a lot of this one as well. Really pretty palette. Stunning. And then we have the Futurism, oh, it's upside down, Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise palette. And whew, these shimmers are from another world. They are so stinking good. It's, yeah, I love this palette. This is a fun palette. I just wished that the names were written on the packaging instead of having a sheet. But yeah, that's my few Kaleidos palette, palettes, and sushi. <laughs> She's cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here we are with a few single palettes from brands. Um, I know, if you know my collection, you know I do have some singles from Sample Beauty, but I will show those in my singles collection and the same goes for give me glow cosmetics so yeah these are just the pre-made palettes so first up we have the sample beauty equalizer volume 2 palette this one just rolled into my pandos eyeshadows project pan it's so beautiful i absolutely love it Still need to film a video with this before I can choose a shade um, for the Pandos Eyeshadows Project Pan, but I do have an idea. So yeah, this is beautiful. Absolutely love it. Um, by color, of course. Then we have the Be Perfect. Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette in collaboration with Stacey Marie. This ooh, is a beautiful palette. You have your greens and blues, you have your neutrals and oranges, and your pinks and purples. It's stunning. I need to film a 3-look or 5-look 1 palette video with this one. I'm thinking maybe 5-looks, but I don't want the video to be too long. So... Yeah, we will see, but still untouched and need to film a video. We have my One Melt Cosmetics palette. This is the Mary Jane palette. Just a nice cooler toned neutral palette. I'm pretty sure I do have a swatching video of this one up on my channel. Um, so go check that out. If you want to see any of these swatched, then go check out my Swatch Sunday Swatch Party playlist. I 
make some swatching videos out of palettes and run them on Sundays. Uh, I haven't done that in a long time though, so... But there are about 30 palettes filmed and up on that playlist, so go check that one out if you're curious about any of the palettes and what they look like. Then we have the KVD Edge of Reality palette. This is beautiful. You have six mattes right here and the rest are shimmers. Uh, really stunning, absolutely love it. And um, yeah, people need to try this one out. They just do. So I know here in Norway it's on sale currently at Fedek and Luisa. So go check it out. Um, yeah, go check it out. Then we have my one pastel and pastel dreams. Oh my god, give me glow pre-made palette. I really want the uh oh what is it called? The newest one that they came out with for the spooky season. Uh, this is the pastel dreams though. I do have oh my god. I do have one shade in here in my uh pa Beauty A to C. There we go. So this will get some more love as well. And I'm currently panning six of my singles from Give Me Glow. So yeah, absolutely love these shadows. They are stunning. My one Sigma um, palette. I have, I think, both a swatch video and a three looks one palette video up on this one. Uh, but this is a stunning, stunning palette. It's more on the darker side, but it's it's just beautiful. It's a really good companion palette. You can use it on its own. And um, yeah, it's really beautiful. I'm happy I got this one first, but I also want the Enchanted palette from them. So maybe I will buy that one next. And then we do have the Buxom White Russian palette. This one is a face and eyes palette. You have six neutral eyeshadows and two blushes. I absolutely love this shade right here and that one right there. They are stunning and an easy two shadow look. And um, yeah, it's a really cute palette and I'm actually really happy I bought this one. Um, the pack packaging is sleek and nice and yeah, you can easily just bring this and you will have almost everything. So, yeah. I'm gonna do one more round of single palettes. So, just keep watching. Okay, so here is the second frame of palettes. I only own one from a brand. And yeah, let's go through them. So first up, we have the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. This is the only palette from him that I didn't depart. I'm sorry that the lighting changed. Um, but yeah, I do have two pants in this one, and <laughs> Sushi is here with me today, so yeah. I really do like the color scheme of this palette, I just hate that it's so big, because this will take forever to use up. Um, if you can hear her eating in the background, I'm so sorry, um, but yeah. Then we have the Makeup Mecca, the Makeup Battle, in collaboration with Alexander Juni, and it's the Don't Kill My Vibe palette. I'm sorry about how reflecting this one is, um, 
This is a Norwegian brand and um, again I really do like the color story. It's really pretty and I do need to use this one. And sushi is for bugs and she's now on top of my palettes. Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air palette. This is a dupe to the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. Um, I have pan in these three and the bottom one, and I'm trying to finish up this shade right here. So, which also has pan on it. So I do have some good progress on this palette right here. Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows in number 10 Money. This is the green palette. I absolutely love this. This is a really good six pan green palette. Um, so, yeah, I do love it. I do think I have a video on this one. It's either a first impressions or a three looks one palette or something like that. So go check that one out. Then we have the Beauty Act um, Lilac Mania Quad. This was the summer collection and it's so freaking stunning. I absolutely love this. It's everything. Um, absolutely adore this one. And lastly we have the Game Beauty Adventure Palette. This is a stunning, stunning green palette with a few pops of color. And this pressed glitter right here is the best damn pressed glitter ever. Um, it's easy to remove and it's easy to apply and it's just beautiful. I do need to make a video on this palette uh, because I have only made a swatch video on this one. So this needs some more love. Um, so yeah, I do think that's all for my single palettes from brands. Next up will be, what will it be? H&M, NYX, and Morphe, I think. Stay tuned. Okay, so here are Morphe, NYX, and H&M palettes. Uh, both of my Morphe palettes are in Project Pants, and the top NYX one is also in a Project Pan, so, yeah. Firstly, we do have the good old Morphe 35O palette. Um, I have two pans in here and one finished eyeshadow. I'm currently working on this one to hit pan. Um, it's an okay palette. I do have most of these shades over and over. The one shadow I would like to keep if I ever declutter this is this shadow right here um, and maybe this pukey brown but yeah it's a little bit repetitive color story but it's an okay palette. So for now, I will keep it. Then we have the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. This one is used and abused. Um, yeah, as you can tell, I have in total 17 pans and three pans, um, three eyeshadows finished. And the rest I am trying to hit pan on this year. So... Yeah, this will be an interesting challenge, and it will be interesting to see how it goes. Uh, because I really do like the formula of this palette, and my favorite shade is this shadow right here called Pukey. And I do really love the three pinks right here. And of course, SBN right there. So, yeah, it's stunning.
I really do like this palette. Then we have my four NYX quads. These are the full throttle quads. Firstly, we have the Easy on the Ice quad. Um, as you can tell, I only have one shadow left in this palette. Um, I'm working on the green and I'm working on the matte white. Um, and the gold one is in a project, so hopefully this palette will be done by the end of the year. Then we have the explicit quad, just a dark quad, really, with all mattes or settings. Oh, sorry. Then we have the color riot quad. This is a sunset kind of look, easy everyday look. And then we have the stunner quad, which is my second favorite because of the blue and the purpley gray. Um, it's just an easy quad as well. Then I have a quad from H&M. This is the nice moths curated eye quad this is all satin or shimmers it's really pretty and it's a nice everyday palette and then we have the aubergine dream eye color palette which is a nine pan palette this was almost my palette palette for last year the only two shadows i don't really like is the two glittery shadows the others are nice but really easy to just finish up really even the black one so that's it for my morphe nyx and h&m okay so here we are with my made by mitchell and bh cosmetics palettes um and my cat is washing herself that you can't see oh and i'm glad so, Made by Mitchell um, Feet on the Ground palette. This is a absolutely stunning green grunge palette with some bright pops. And um, yeah, I need to do a video on this one. It really deserves it. Then we have the Feet Head in the Clouds palette. Oh my god. This was in my Panos eyeshadows last year, and I hit pan in soda skies. You can see how deep these are, and um, yeah, it's gonna take forever to finish up these because they are three grams each, and there are 25 eyeshadows in here, so yeah, a lot of products. And this is the beautiful rainbow palette. It's absolutely stunning really really love the formula in his eyeshadows i really want the newest palette from him um in this size so vh cosmetics we have the remix dance 90s i'm a 90s kid so i thought it would be fitting this is beautiful i have pan in supermodel right there and um, yeah, you have a good mix of neutrals and colors. I'm pretty sure I have a three looks one video up on this one and a palette bingo. And most probably a swatch video as well, so go check those out. Then we have one from their travel series. This is the Passion in Paris palette and it's stunning. I did a three looks one palette on this one. Or did I do a palette bingo? I don't remember but I do have a video or two on this one as well. I absolutely love it and as you can see I have hit pan on one shadow in here and yeah. I really need to play around with it some more now in the winter season. 
And then we have the BH Cosmetics Flower Power Palette. This is smaller than I expected, but I don't mind. Um, so yeah, these are really good as well. But I was hoping it was as big as the Travel Series palettes are, but they are not. So just so you know, but it's a good palette. It's pinks and neutrals and it's cute. So I don't mind. Okay, so these are my last pre-made palettes, I'm pretty sure. And after this, we will go through my singles. But here we are with my Revolution and Juvia's Place palettes. I had one more Revolution palette last year, but I gifted it to my mom because it was more her color story. And I just wasn't using it. And um, yeah, she loves it. She uses it. And she found her perfect gray once again. So yeah. So I have four of blah, blah, blah. I have four Revolution palettes and two Juvia's Place palettes. The only Juvia's Place palette I would consider buying, but I can't, is the Deuce palette. And that's they don't make it anymore. So yeah. Let's start with the Revolution palettes. Firstly, we have this Revolution and Friends palette. This is a big one. And I do have Ross and Joey in a project pan. To hit pan. Um, but this again is a really nice everyday palette. Oh, I kind of... Did I forget to count these three in my highlighter inventory? Or did I make a choice to make them eyeshadows? I don't remember, but there are in total 27 shades in this one with the three bigger ones. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Then we have the Revolution Forever Flawless Ice Palette. This was supposed to be a dupe for the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. And as you can see, I do have one pan in here. Some of these shadows really doesn't work and some of them are really pretty. So I'm still hanging on to it, but this might be a de declutter sometime in 2022. I have some better blues in my collection. Then we have the Forever Flawless Timeless Fantasy Palette. This is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Glam Palette, which I do own. And I really do like it. It's really beautiful. The This one has three more shadows than the Natasha Denona one has. Like, for instance, this yellow doesn't exist in the Natasha Denona one. Um, but yeah, again, this is super pretty. And... My plan is to make a comparison video on those, so I'm hopeful that I can do that this year. And then lastly we have the Revolution Reloaded Iconic Fever palette. This might be the best formula for from Revolution that I have tried. And as you can see I have four pans in here, uh, but it's just a nice everyday neutral palette with some reds and pinks. Over to Juvia's Place, I have the Warrior 3 palette. This is a colorful palette, and I have yet to hit pan on it. The only, well, not the only reason, but I don't reach for this a lot, but I do keep it because of the two shimmers down there. Um, but yeah. I don't think Juvia's deserves the hype that it has anymore. I do think there are better formulas out there. And um, yeah, I'm sorry. They are nice and the palettes, like the packaging, are stunning. But the formula could be better in these. 
Then we have the Nomad palette. This one is a little bit smaller, which I find annoying. I think all of these nine pen palettes should be in one size. And I've heard other other people complain about it as well. So yeah, this is a grungy palette and I love it. And as you can tell, I do have the pan in the middle shadow right there. It's kind of hard to see because the pan and the shadow is really similar in color. But again, the darker shadows isn't as good as I was hoping. So that's too bad, but I really do like the color story of this palette. And out of the two, I would definitely keep this one and depart the two shimmer shadows from the Warrior 3 palette. And that's it for the pre-made palettes, I'm pretty sure. I have quite enough, uh, and we still have the single shadows to go. But I do think I will stop the eyeshadow video here and make a separate video for my single shadows. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope I will see you again in my next video. Bye!